Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I'm Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. Yeah, there was more batter in that than there was turps. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, and really anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering, Content for the Blood God. <clears throat> now on with the show. Andy is with me here tonight, um, and uh, we're having a great time. Uh, I'm trying to keep um, his uh, uh, ADHD at bay. Um, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I just make sure he has something to do uh, while he's enjoying his film. Um, uh, and um, speaking of attention spans, please, for the love of God, if you could watch to the end of the video, one, it helps me and my view time. Uh, and also, uh, here's some really good uh, uh, films we've watched tonight. Uh, so, um, you know, uh, watch a banger. You know, uh, help my, uh, my, my viewing hours. Win-win. Yes? All right. So, um, tonight we have for you The Statement by Imgrund Owen. And yes, that is Imgrund uh, with an M. Um... I like names from other places, uh, you know, like it's, oh yeah, I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> and uh, let me go ahead and give him a like, uh, or her, um, or a subscri and a subscribe, he, she, them, they, whoever, everyone, let's rumble. The music, cut the music, where's the music, why is it, why is it, where, where's, there it is. How did that one get up there? Did I? Okay, never mind. Okay, let's move. The statement. Oh, for the love of God. YouTube has been wonky for a while. It's still sorting itself out. Oh. Before we begin, Professor, I just want to say I've been an admirer of yours ever since I read your article on archetypes. I'm sorry, my what? The article you wrote for the Arkham Gazette. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble recollecting. No wonder you had quite a shock. You were lucky we found the two of you when we did. Something for you to fidget with. Is Carter all right? Yes, Mr. Carter's fine. Just a little shaken. I had to have God. that cleansed. Yes. John gave it to Speaking me, and it had which, real What were you and he doing at the Bowen Ranch in the bad. first place? I was following up on some research. As acceptable an answer as that may seem, Professor. Trespassing on a crime scene is still a criminal offense. Look, I wanted to be in bed asleep an hour ago. If you tell me what I need to know, I can see letting the two of you off with just a warning. Tell me about your research. Kill me with that cigarette. For the past five years, my colleagues at the Miskatonic and I have been studying various religious sects from across the globe. 
Do you want to record this? My memory is fine. <laughs> anyway, when the Bowen cult was discovered by the police two days ago, from what I read in the papers, I noticed many characteristics similar to certain underground religious practices. However, although the police stated that the cultists had been apprehended, their ritual meeting place had yet to be discovered. <coughs> there actually is a scenario Carter's that kind of like... In the county clerk's office. He was able to discover that Bowen had dug out a massive cistern about 20 years ago. But Bowen never owned any livestock. Did you tell any of your colleagues of your findings? No. What's up? I'm just Only just Randall what's and up I knew. And left, and I just went like this. <laughs> there was no Way one else to going. share in the terror. <laughs> nice. Shh. Quietly now. Police may have left a sentry. We have everything we need. Boats, walkie talkie, clubs. Good. Go. And, uh, blast. <laughs> Excellent. Now, if you're they look far too correct, comfortable at, uh, 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 at the skull duggery they're, they're doing. Yeah. Okay, so modern times. Force of habit. No, hey, no. Here's something you can call there are weird people bucket, that still know shit out in the sticks. Me on a school night. Night out with your professor. Okay. Are we sure this is a good idea? Well, in the game, you would roll to see if you noticed that. Couldn't this be done in daylight? Or? You're an aspiring archaeologist, I would also know. I would also hate to see my best student's grades take a sudden turn for the worse. As if any of your other students did. You wish to call it an ice There was literally two boxes left on the shelves. It smells like you should know. Goo was like, hold up, I got you. Some some worker in an Amazon warehouse's barcode fucking got scanned and was like, yes, we will make sure it is. Just as I expected. Only about seven or eight feet deep. We won't need all of the rope. No, oh, this is kind of this is the hole we saw in the beginning. Down the I guess. Hole. Yeah. Hey, Alice. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. You're right. There's a passageway that leads down into the south. Ha! I called this, didn't I? Are you on channel 34? I think so. Good luck. Well, what? No, get your ass down here. I know you got a cane, but you can still shimmy. Man. Splitting the party. Now somebody's going to uh, bonk him on the back of the head, and that guy's going to die down there. I'm going to pull the rope up on him. Mm-hmm. Cigarettes. It's a nice night out, though. I can't blame him. I would, too. This fur brushed my armor and scared me because I was just so into it. I think it scared him, too. Yeah, we both jumped at the same time. Oh, those are totems. Yeah, you didn't look around you at all when you fucking like, uh, like a... Now he's noticing Occupational things. hazard. 
How far have you walked? It, that's actually like a, an interesting point because in the game you can forget to look around when you go to a new new area and I won't see a fucking thing. <laughs> Or I will, like, after the fact or something like that, or you'll pay for it. I have strange things. There are several passages branching off now. I can't tell which way I should go. Yeah, because why would you just randomly go in the store like that without <laughs> scaring the area first? Oh, boy, there are bodies down here. Oh, bodies. Oh, bodies. Just calm down. Breathe. I, he, it didn't what sound like he could see? do that when he was down there. The box. Does it have any characters? I don't know I your ass down that rope and fucking go help him. Get out of there. Oh. in line but very tell fucking your vague. colleagues what you just told me what do you think their reaction would be excuse me well would you and your colleagues be of the opinion that the Bowen cultists were you know worshippers of the haunter of the dark wait what yep I, yeah Fucking cultists. What is wrong? None of my colleagues have ever mentioned that name. Not to our families. No one. Not even Randolph. Where's Randolph? What have you done with Randolph? I think he's... Is he still stuck to something? Nope. No. It looked like he still had like a chain on his hand or something. Help me! I don't think so.
the mark off his hand. I guess so they couldn't get to him. Or couldn't get the information. <coughs> yeah, I think he's being tortured. Like, you know, like he, it's his interrogation. Before we begin, Professor, I just want to say that I've been an admirer of yours ever since I read your article on archetypes. I see what he was thinking. What did it say? I, mean, I couldn't read it, but he was going through what it right time. He was like chewing a message into his hand. Uh, I guess he was stuck in a loop. It's really good, this oh, one. From HP Lovecraft. Yeah, it's um told us the the story. Oh, that's good. Mm hmm So that was the statement by Imgrund Owen. Uh, if you've watched all the way to the end, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It helps me out with uh, the viewing time. And also, um, you know, showing some love to the creators. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, be safe. Be happy. Be healthy. Like, subs like subscribe, share, and follow. Uh, I love you all. Me and Andy had a great time. We'll see you in the next one.